Today we're taking a look at AI SEO. So this is a tool that can automatically generate content like blog posts and articles automatically using AI. So we have talked about this on the channel quite a few times before. This is really becoming very popular in 2022 using AI to generate content. We talked about Writer previously on the channel. I quite like this one, very nice interface, pretty good quality content. PepperType had excellent quality content output, but the problem with these two, PepperType and Writer, they had lifetime deals, but those lifetime deals have expired. And so I really wanted to find something for you guys where um, there's a lifetime deal where you can generate content and there's no ongoing monthly subscription. So $39 on AppSumo uh, AI SEO. I'll put the link down there if you want to check this out. There's a free trial as well, so you can actually test this. But I want to test this out for you guys today and see if this one can compete with the ones we've tried on the channel before. Now, besides AI SEO, there are quite a lot of these that have launched in the last few months. So Content Forge, we've got Flacked AI, Thunder Content, Typely AI, Word Hero, Ellipsis, and Kiteb. So a lot of these have launched recently. They all have lifetime deals. The one thing to watch for with these lifetime deals is what uh, what is the word limit? Mostly they're around 10,000 words or 50,000 characters. So um, sometimes between 10 or 20 or this one case, we've got 30,000 and in, I think, Word Hero, $69 had unlimited subject to a, a fair use. Let me know if you've tried any of these because I'm interested in testing more of these out in the future. But the thing that caught my eye with this AI SEO was this SEO idea that they have where you're generating SEO optimized content. So a lot of the reasons we're writing blog posts in the first place is to get organic traffic from the Google search engine. So hopefully this can help in that regard. So I really wanted to try this one out, but I'm going to try out some more of these. So again, let me know in the comments which one I should try next. So link in the description for that lifetime deal. You can also get started for free. They do have a small uh, free trial where you can just at least test it out, which is quite nice as well. But let's get on to testing this AI SEO. So there are three main areas to using uh, AI SEO. So you've got the templates. So there's loads of little templates that can generate little bits of content. There is the document creator. So blog post workflow is really great if you want to create a blog post from beginning to end. I'm going to use that a little bit later in the video. And there is this really nice one called the paraphraser where you can paste in a paragraph um, from an article that you like. And it's going to reword it using AI and create a unique article. I think this is a really cool tool as well. So I think let's test out this paraphraser tool first and we're going to need a topic to write about today. So I'm going to use the same topic I've used on the channel before, which is my watch. I wear one of these um, Russian dive watches, very cheap and very interesting history behind this watch as well. So this is the number one article on Hedinki. So I'm going to open this for some ideas. And also we've got the Wikipedia article. So I'm just going to paste this history paragraph into the paraphraser and see how we go. So just paste that in and hit paraphrase. So that's all done. It only took a few seconds to paraphrase these couple of small paragraphs, but you can actually paste in up to uh, 50,000 characters. So you can paste a whole article in here. It will take a while, but you can paraphrase it into a new article, which is pretty amazing if you just want to quickly um, generate content. But um, reading through this, I think it's done a reasonable job. There are a few sentences that sound similar, but it has gone ahead and changed the key adjectives and uh, moved things around and changed the sentence structure. So it does, um, I think it does a to create unique content, which is the main thing here. So good enough. It has um, made it quite shorter, I've noticed, but um, still a decent job. I think you could quite uh, easily use this to create articles very quickly. The other thing we can do here is click check uniqueness. So this will go ahead and check. So let's come up with a uniqueness score of 66. I think generally you want to get that over 70. So between 70 and 100 to make sure you've got unique content. So you could just write a little bit of fresh content in there to increase the uniqueness, or we could just paste it into the main interface here, then maybe just expand on some of the stuff here. So we can actually highlight a sentence and then use the expander to automatically expand it. Let's see what effect that has. So this isn't really helpful. It's um, interpreted it as furniture design. So that is not helpful. I'm going to undo that. And um, let's try this, this sentence here and expand that one. So it has expanded it, but I don't think any of this stuff that's come up with is actually true. It sounds good, but um, I don't think we can actually use it. So let's go back and just add some unique text here. So all I did here was just add one sentence at the start. The Vostok Amphibia has a unique and interesting history and one word in here, the goal of the first Vostok diving watch. And then running it again, I've got uniqueness of 71. So you can see it's fairly easy to increase that above 70. And I think we're good to go with this example. 
So I think that wraps up the paraphraser tool. Again, quite a reasonable way of taking um, existing articles and spinning them into new articles. So I don't mind this at all. Just um, you do need to do a little bit of work to make sure that uniqueness is high enough. But I think this could be quite a quick way of creating content for your websites. Next thing I want to demo is the actual blog creation tool. So let's do this actual um, blog post workflow. So I'll just type in a description for our blog post. So this is going to be a review of the Vostek Amphibia dive watch. Vostok manufactures an affordable and interesting dive watch called Amphibia. And I'm going to put some keywords in here. So I'll put a couple of keywords in here, Vostok Amphibia and Vostok Amphibia review. Now we can go ahead and generate titles. So if we scroll down, we've got some title ideas. So the first one is review of the Vostok Amphibia dive watch, but um, you can look at some of these other options. So these aren't actually that great. I think if we add some more keywords, we'll get better options. So let's add some more. So I've added a couple more keywords, best dive watch for 70 and Russian dive watch. Let's, let's generate some more titles and see what we get. Okay, so these look a little better. Um, 10 reasons why I chose the Vostok Amphibia dive watch. That sounds pretty cool. But um, again, these ones are also quite good. Best dive watch um, for 70. And uh, let's go with this one. I think that's interesting. It's got a little a number at the start. Those always get um, a little bit higher click through 10 reasons why. I think that sounds pretty good. So now it's generated a few different introduction paragraphs. So you can have a look at one and see which one you prefer. I can't like the last one here. So I'm going to select that one and then let's head over to the editor. So here we go. In the editor, we've got our title and our introduction and we've got our, our description over here. We can go ahead and save what we've got so far. So you can actually see in your account, you've got your saved documents that you're working on. So this is the one we're working on at the moment. Let's go ahead and build this out a bit more. So first step is to go to outline and we can select outlines from other blog posts that are high ranking in Google. So, and then we just choose the um, headings that we want to use for our own post. So lots of good ideas here. Let's just go ahead and select four or five of these for exa our example. So I'm just going to click on one um, for our first heading. Let's go and click on a few more. So I've grabbed a few headings that I might want to use for this post. So I've got five here, but you can add more or less as you like. Let's go to the editor. Then all we have to do is click copy headings and that will pop the headings into our article. And you'll notice that some of them are H1 or H3. I think they should all be H2. So let's just change this one. This is an H1. We'll change it to an H2. And uh, this one is an H3. Let's just leave them all as H2 for the example. And you can also change the order of them with this um, button here. There's arrows, you can move them up and down. So let's just arrange them into the order that we prefer. So that order looks all right. I might simplify this because this talks about the scuba dude specifically, which is a specific model of the amphibia, but let's just call it um, Vostok Amphibia hands-on review. All right, so now let's get to the fun part. We've got our headings. What we can do now is go to SERP sections and this has the number one post here. We can scroll through the posts in Google ranking. So this is the number two post. This is the number three ranked post. So let's go back to that number one post and we've got the, the main title there. We can actually go to our section and we can click that robot there and we can actually generate a paragraph based on that heading. So it's thinking. Let's go ahead and see what it comes up with here. So I don't really love what it's come up with here. Let's try a different way. The other good way of creating the paragraph is using this write with AI button. So all we do is go to our heading. Let's go and start writing the first sentence of the paragraph and then finish it with the AI button. So let's put something like, uh, today we review the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. Leave the cursor there and let's hit write with AI and see what we get now. So let's come up with this paragraph. I Again, this isn't too bad, but all the facts are wrong. So we actually have to fact check everything. So it's made in China. It's not made in China, it's made in Russia. And again, 42 millimeter size is true. Um, current list price of 330 is not that expensive. It's between 70 to uh, 150, uh, depending, on, depending on the model. So I've noticed with most AI generators, when it comes to numbers, names, and places, you do have to double check to make sure everything's factual. So just um, fix up those numbers. I think this is a reasonable paragraph now. Let's head to our next paragraph here and see if we get um, some more uh, content with this tool here. So let's use that little robot head with this heading here and see what we get um, for the Vostok Amphibia in this section. So this output, again, I'm really not too happy with this. I think the best way um, is not using that little robot head. I think the best way is just start off your paragraph and then use that right with AI. So I'll just type something in to start this off and then finish it off with the AI. 
So I've just said the Vostok Amphibia provides features comparable to much more expensive dive watches, for example, and then let's write with AI and see what we get out of this. So this is what it's come up with. Again, you'll have to fact check and change anything that's incorrect here. For example, um, 42 and 46, I think it's 42 and, and 38, for example, there. But again, fact checking numbers is what you have to do with every AI. Um, but you can go ahead and move on and finish out the rest of these paragraphs. But overall, I think these AI tools like that robot um, icon and the write with AI don't give you as good quality as using just using the paraphraser. For, so for example, if I wanted to just talk about the history of Vostok here, what I might actually do is just find one of the high ranking blog posts. So here we go. The number four post, the slender wrist has a history of Vostok paragraph. So let's right click and open that blog post. This is the blog post that we're talking about here. Let's actually just find the history of Vostok paragraph. So let's go ahead, grab that and then just paraphrase it. And then I think we're all good to go. So let's go ahead, paste that in there, paraphrase it up. So there we go, we've got a unique paragraph here. Check uniqueness, we've got 65. So I might just add a little bit to this um, second paragraph here to flesh it out and make it more unique. So I'll just add one sentence in there and now we're at uniqueness 71. So this looks fine and we can just use that as our, as our paragraph for our history. So there we go, just paste that in. I think this is more productive than trying to use these tools. I think this generated too much garbage content. I think using the paraphraser, you're at least guaranteed to make sure that the topic stays the same and uh, the wording is different. And then you just add a little bit of unique um, flavor from your own understanding of the topic. And then you've got unique content and it's a fairly productive way of doing it. So that's the way I would use it after using all the different features. I think the paraphraser is definitely the most productive way of working with this software. So overall, in terms of our conclusions, I think this interface is pretty good. I quite like this interface, but just the actual output that I got from Write with AI and the robot icon wasn't really up to scratch compared to what I've used before. I thought PepperType and Writer did a much better job. It's a shame this one couldn't quite keep up with the quality that the other tools were spitting out, but I did quite like this. Um, paraphrase. I think if you just want to paraphrase other content, turn it into unique content, add a bit of your own flavor to make sure it's unique enough. But this could be a really good way if you like creating content in this method. So I didn't mind using this. I thought this probably wasn't quite good enough. I think it does depend on the content. I think this topic is relatively technical. I think the more technical you get, the worse the quality is. So if it was something simple like pets, food, travel, fashion, I think those kind of topics can do much better than things like um, uh, tech reviews, electronics, um, very specific articles, software, engineering, science, those kind of things probably aren't gonna be very suitable for this AI software, but simple things probably work out okay. So really depends on your niche. I think, um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with this overall, but I think it might suit some people, but it's probably not the right one for me. I'm gonna try out some more in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, Content Forge, Flact, Thunder Content, Typely, Word Hero. I am interested in this because of its unlimited option here. So you can create a lot of content, unlimited offer. I don't know how long that's gonna be around for. And uh, Kateb, very cheap. I wanna try that one out as well. Let me know which one you'd like to look at or if you've looked at any of these yourselves because I'm very interested in what would be the best recommendation for 2022. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.